story friend how are you it's been getting colder where i live did you know some places it can get so cold that it snows does it ever snow where you live it, it doesn't where i do but if you drive about an hour or so away it, it does snow when i was little my family and I would go up to a, a little cabin and stay there for a few days to play in the snow. I, I'd never seen snow before, but I remember one time we made a snowman that I could see from my bedroom window. And I asked my mom what we would do if when we woke up the snowman had run away. But she helped me to understand that people can make it look like snowmen can come to life and in things like books and on television, but that's not something that happens in real life. And when I got up the next day, the snowman was right where we left him, but it was fun to think about. Well, an author and illustrator by the names of Mark and Cara Buhner must have wondered about the same thing because they worked together on a wonderful book I'd like to read with you called Snowmen at Night. So why don't we just think more about snow and snow friends coming together and having a nice time as we enjoy our story time. Snowmen at Night by Carolyn Buhner. Pictures by Mark Buhner. One wintry day, I made a snowman, very round and tall. The next day, when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms dropped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark, off the lawn and down the street right into the park. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of iced cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Sometimes they start giggling and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. They gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim and underneath the moonlit sky they play a baseball game. No one knows just how it started but soon it's quite a sight, with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Wahoo, they yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. Finally, they're tuckered out, 
and getting sleepy. So they slowly gather up their things, and one by one, they go. So if your snowman's grin is crooked, or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. Oh, I loved it. Mark and Kara must be very creative people to make such a charming book. I'm really glad they let me share it with you. You know, you could make a book. You can wonder about what it would be like if, if you made a snowman or a snowwoman and what you might do if they came to life. You can even draw pictures about it and share it with the people you care about. Some use their imaginations in such wonderful, creative ways. And I know you can too. But for now, I will say, till next time, from me to you. Bye for now.